Hi, I'm Larry Puckett, the DCC Guy. Well, as I'm sure you've noted, it's been several weeks since my last video, and a number of you have asked me how I'm doing and what's going on, why I haven't been posting. So I wanted to bring you up to date on that, where I am, where we're going, and um, just what's the status here. So first off, if you look around me here, there's nothing left of the Piedmont Southern. That photo that was posted uh, as the tickler to get you to click on this video uh, was literally the last trip to the dump with the remains of the Piedmont Southern layout. So why did I tear that out after 10 years of working on it? Well, several things. First off, over the last couple of years, I've had some health issues. Fortunately, everything seems to be going in the right direction now, though. But, you know, it doesn't take a two by four between the eyes to get your attention that things are going downhill and not necessarily going to always be better. And I didn't want to leave my wife this big mess down here to have to clean up for me, to take care of demolishing the layout and getting everything sold or thrown in the trash can, whatever. So I decided that it was time that I should go ahead and pare things down a bit. So I've kept my module. You can see here I still have that. I'm thinking that I will build another pair of modules for the other side here, put them back to back, and have a UK side here and a US side on the other side, and then connect them together with, with a, uh, a, a large diameter curve. And that way I can have something to operate with and to experiment on as far as DCC and to test out DCC products. Because I don't expect to be uh, completely getting out of this. I'm still a contributing editor at Model Railroader magazine. Um, there should be an article coming up soon, a review that I did on the new Pico DCC system. So look forward to seeing that. I think that's going to be in the September issue coming up. So I do plan on doing some more work for MR. I do plan on still doing model railroading. It's just not on the scale that I've been trying to do it for the last 10 years with the Piedmont Southern. And I'll just give you a look around here to see exactly what's left. So if you look, we just got a bunch of bare walls and a bunch of piles of boxes full of cars, locomotives, passenger cars, you name it, buildings, building kits. So I'm going to be doing an inventory of all of my stuff and I'm going to make it available for sale. And I will offer it to you guys first as I get the inventory done. And then whatever's not sold uh, directly, I'll put on eBay. We have a local show coming up here at the fairgrounds here in Asheville coming up in November and then another one I believe in February. So I'll probably be getting tables at both of those to sell off some of this stuff. And let me tell you, I'm not trying to make a fortune off of this. So there's going to be excellent bargains on these things. And what I'm going to do is I will first start with the locomotives and get those inventoried and then I'll come back with a video letting you know where you can download a copy of the inventory list for those locomotives for sale. And then I'll go ahead and start working on the passenger cars because they're the next big bulk item because I've got a lot of passenger cars. Then finally I'll get around to doing the box cars and the guns and hoppers and all of that kind of stuff, reefers, you name it, I've got it. There's probably a total of, you know, 600 cars down here. So if you've been looking for green and white southern locomotives or the black and white tuxedo scheme, I'm going to have a bunch of those available. I will keep some of my favorite ones. There are a number of them that I kitbashed and produced for various magazine articles. I will hang on to those, but a lot of the other stuff, most of my steam locomotives, a lot of that stuff, I'm going to be selling off. So if you've been drooling over the stuff behind me, uh, for the last few years uh, in my videos, then now it's going to be your chance to get your hands on some of those locomotives, most of which have DCC sound decoders in them already. Well, that's about all I have to say. Uh, I want to thank you all for your interest and for your support over the last few years. I am not planning on doing a lot of videos over this summer because I just have so much to do down here to put together this inventory and get this stuff cleaned out that I just don't think I'm going to have time to work on things. But uh, come the fall, 
uh, when everybody is going to be coming back home from vacations and, and, and work out in the yard and all of that kind of thing, I will start doing some videos again. So look forward to seeing me back here in the fall with videos. And also, I will have intermittent videos over the summer as I get that inventory of locomotives, rolling stock, passenger cars, all of that kind of stuff done. So, have a great summer, enjoy yourself, and uh, be safe out there on the road, and I'll see you in the next video when I have that inventory of locomotives ready to post for you. Bye now. <music>